There are three primary windows in Kaleidoscope Pro, the control panel, the viewer, and the results window. This quick tip video is specific to the results window when Kaleidoscope Pro runs a cluster analysis batch process in non-bat analysis mode. When Kaleidoscope Pro has completed a cluster analysis batch process, the viewer window and results window open automatically. The results window is synchronized with the viewer, so changing the currently selected vocalization from one window will update the other. The results window lists each vocalization and the clusters found from the batch process. Metadata is displayed, including some of the specific cluster analysis measurements. But not all of the data found in the cluster analysis is currently visible. What we see here is the default column display. For example, the channel column is visible, but since all my audio files are mono, I only see a single channel listed, and that's not useful information for me. I'm also interested in seeing the mean or average frequency for each detected vocalization, but that's not displayed. So I'll go to the File menu and choose Edit Columns. With this window, I can hide columns, such as channel. I can show columns, such as F mean, which is mean frequency. And I can reorder columns with the move up and move down buttons. If I customize the column display, Kaleidoscope Pro will remember my custom column settings and will use those settings in my next batch process. Here's a quick tip. When you do a batch process in Kaleidoscope Pro, any custom settings for the results window are saved in the settings.ini file, which is also created by the batch process. So you could do multiple batch processes with different results window configurations, and the settings.ini file from each batch could be used later as a template for a different results window setup. If I click on the top of a column, I will reorder the recordings based on the values within the column. If I click again, I will reverse the sort order. I've resorted the recordings by mean frequency from highest to lowest. Next, I'll resort by cluster name. The results window now lists the vocalizations by cluster, and within each cluster, the vocalizations are then further sorted by mean frequency. Once I've done a cluster analysis batch process, I may then want to build a classifier. I can choose any vocalization and go to the Results Window File menu and choose Edit Cluster Name. This is the first step in building a simple classifier. Here's another quick tip. If you don't see Edit Cluster Name as an available option in the File menu, that means something has changed in the basic settings of Kaleidoscope Pro since the cluster analysis batch process was originally run. Close the results window and viewer. Reload the settings.ini file for the cluster analysis from the Control Panel File menu. Choose Open Results from the File menu and choose the original cluster.csv file. The viewer and results window open from the original cluster analysis, and you will now be able to edit the cluster names. In order to complete the simple classifier, you'll need to save the changes to the results window, which will update the underlying cluster.csv file as well as the cluster.kcs classifier file. These three file menu selections have to do with saving as saving, or changing the location of the underlying cluster.csv and cluster.kcs files. Let's take a look at that. Since I've just modified the results of the cluster analysis batch process by renaming a cluster, I want to save those results. If I forget to save and try to close the results window, I'll get a message saying that if I don't save, I'll lose the editing work I've just done. So I'll cancel that message and choose Save from the File menu. Now the cluster.csv and cluster.kcs files have been updated, and I can close the results window with no error message. In the Outputs directory, I see the cluster.csv file. This was created by the cluster analysis batch process, and we've just been looking at the contents of this file in the results window. I also see the meta.csv file, the meta.csv file lists the original input files and can also be opened in the results window. CSV is a common file format, so if I double-click on the cluster.csv file, that will cause my spreadsheet application to open. 
The spreadsheet application displays all the columns created in the cluster analysis batch process and also shows my renamed cluster. When I chose Save from the Results window file menu, that updated this cluster.csv file. If I want to reopen the results window from my cluster analysis batch process, I'll go to the file menu in the control panel and choose Open Results. I'll select the cluster.csv file and the viewer and results window for this batch process will reopen. If I want to build an advanced classifier, I can manually name individual vocalizations. I can go to the results window file menu and choose to copy the top one match cluster names to the manual ID column. This copies all the generic cluster names to the manual ID column. From the viewer window, I'll create a custom ID and press the return key. You can see my custom label has been added to an individual vocalization in the manual ID column in the results window. Bulk ID of selected rows allows me to add my manual label to selected vocalizations. Bulk ID matching auto ID allows me to select a single vocalization, and then when I add my manual label, it will be copied to all the vocalizations within that cluster. The results window is used to list and sort the original cluster analysis results, and the results window is also used to add cluster names and manual IDs for the purpose of creating simple and advanced classifiers. Thank you for watching.